Hello, my name is Raymond Smallwood Sr. I am a assistant, uh, I won't say pastor, assistant uh, to the pastor at the People's Church at 535 8th Street Southeast. Uh, I started there at the age of 15. When I got saved at the age of 17, I was licensed as a minister. Uh, the People's Church was the second integrated church in the Washington, D.C. area. The pastors there have always shown love to everyone. They have an open heart. Uh, everyone is welcome uh, at the People's Church. Uh, I was there when the founding pastor was there, uh, before his son took over, Pastor Michael Hall. I worked with him some, but with uh, Pastor Hall, Michael Hall, I worked with him a great deal, close with him, and working uh, on the church, at the church, whatever I can do to help. Um, I've always had a heart for ministry, whether it was uh, being an usher or doing visitation. Uh, being a teenager, having accepted the Lord, I've never looked back, never thought about what if I had not. I look forward to what God is doing and what God has for me. Uh, the People's Church started in 1962, and for 49 years, we're about to go on our 50th anniversary. Uh, we ministered to the people in the area. We had different outreaches. However, in uh, the last five years, five to ten years, rather, they did a uh, great renovation of the area. And part of the renovation included uh, about 30 restaurants coming into the area, which put a greater strain hold on the parking spaces. Uh, during that process, uh, Pastor Mark Battison of National Community Church uh, came to Pastor Hall. They were looking for a place. Uh, we at one point had, uh, were selling the building. We were planning on moving. But during the move, uh, or in the planning stage, we realized God wanted us there. So we continued to stay, renovated the building. However, a couple of years ago, again, Pastor Mark Batterson came to the pastor and talked to him about selling. Uh, the pastor said, well, we will allow you to use the, use the church, and you can have it in the afternoons. Uh, but that was not conducive for Pastor Mark Batterson. Uh, we felt that our people were beginning to drop off because of the parking space at the time that uh, we were there. Everything was getting crowded, and people would drive around for 45 minutes trying to find a parking space. Some people would end up going back home. Uh, a couple of years ago, we uh, came to the conclusion that we had to sell. And selling the property there, we knew that we wanted to be out in... Uh, this area, we had looked at a place that God had opened up, uh, and we did prayer walks uh, around the building uh, every Saturday, seven times around the building for a year. Uh, at, at one point, we had several oppositions that God moved out of the way, so we went through the planning stage. However, about a year ago, to the date that we had first started, and the uh, final person that had to stay, whether we can go into the property or not, said, no, this is it. Uh, I would not allow church to go in. That was on a Wednesday night. Uh, Pastor uh, Michael Hall and Terry, the guy I had talked to, I was not aware of that. But on that day, I drove up Brinkley Road heading home, which I normally don't do, and saw this church and a for sale sign uh, because it was in foreclosure. Uh, when I got to church and Terry told me the news, I told her about the church I had looked at. Uh, we came out that night, we looked at this church, we saw the building, and down the road from the building, all it was totally dark, so we didn't know there was anything else. Later on, Sister Terry had looked online and realized it was 11 and a half acres of land. Uh, through God's blessing, we was able to purchase the land. We came in and started cleaning all the rubbish out of it. Uh, it has been a great process. For me, it, I've seen God work a miracle in my life. Uh, I suffer with uh, chronic back pain, uh, which has really given me a fit at times. But whenever I come here and I start moving around and start doing work, the pain is gone. Uh, when I get finished, head home, the pain comes back. But all that lets me know that God is still in control of everything that I'm doing. And I look at it as a blessing. As long as I'm doing what God wants me to do, everything goes well. 
uh, that's pretty much my story. Of course, I got saved uh, at the People's Church on, uh, it was in August of 1971. Uh, for me, it was one of the greatest experiences I've ever had. And I never, never look back. Uh, I enjoyed the walk. I enjoyed working with the pastors. Uh, that's pretty much my story.